Hey guys, long time no see. I haven't made any movies, videos for Football Manager 20. But let's start with with this one. I have had several games here with Lazio, Real Madrid, uh, Inter, Roma, Leeds. Some games went well, some games went bad. I have to say that this Football Manager 2020 is in my opinion the best one. It, it made it a little bit more simpler to understand on the tactical part. The 2019 was in a way the for, too hard I think for some people and for myself too to understand everything. So it took a long long time to understand it. This is a game with uh, Atletico Madrid here we got. You guys remember how I made the tactics. Sometimes I made tactics based on real life and sometimes I made tactics that's best for the team in my opinion. And this is a team guide for Atletico Madrid here. This was my inspiration was the Liverpool game. So I have made a game here guys, I have tried some different tactics, I have not gone in for winning the title, this is testing several different things and see okay what, what is best with this team. What I have a problem this year with, athletic, uh, with the Football Manager 2020 is that I have a hard time making a good defensive formation like for example Diego Simeone's and uh, I did it with Valencia and it worked, we came for third place or fourth place, I don't remember that but we had a good season, a lot of goals but it was very much similar, no it was not maybe like Diego Simeone's, it was more like the Valencia's real formation and tactic, we can go through that one another time. So it was a blueprint of the Valencia's tactics these days, 4-4-2 defensively, good on the, on the breaks and everything. Okay, but watching this Atletico Madrid team and watching in the game is this the Atletico Madrid team you can play any kind of football with them guys you can play defensively you can play ag offensively but what they lack is a striker a goal scorer and we will go through the team here before I go to the tactics or we can start from this screen here okay don't don't think about the positioning and things like that we can change it and I will un make you understand it later on but one of the p points you have in the striking force here guys is that when you look at the strikers for example Felix is a uh, not born in 1999 and that's uh, oh my god 20 years only so he's a prospect for the future but the main issue you have with Felix is Felix's off the ball movement is very great so on counter attacks is good he will come into the box he will play he will be reliable in the coming into the box but one of his problem is his strength is very low so when he comes into the box if you have the ball a lot of times he will just be gone there it's hard to see him so he have a player like this, when you have the ball a lot of times, it will have. A, it's very hard to make them function in this role over here. With his tactical abilities, like vision of a 15, this will most probably go up. And his off the ball, his flair, 19. You know, you have to have this player place where he can change the game. When you play counter attack, a player like that is have more space. You know, but. In a playing system where you have the ball all the time, and that's what we are gonna do. We're gonna have the ball. We're gonna attack. We so a player for Felix is a little bit hard, guys, to put him in the team because again, it will be hard for him to find space and uh, same time coming into box from behind and going. For example, if you have a lot of crosses, for Felix to come in and score goals. And the other point here is that Felix can play as a striker. He can play wide, but mainly because of his low acceleration here is hard to make him for example inside forward as he can play very well for example if you go as an inside forward he can score goals he has good finishing but his pace is too low some say it's okay when the defensive line of the opponent is low but in my opinion it can it can make it somewhat problem okay what you can do you can use him as a advanced playmaker at sides on the side of the field that can work then he's lethal he will both score goals and he will come a lot of assists. I haven't done that, but you can do that. Felix here as advanced playmaker will work, okay? But anyway, guys, Felix is one of the players I have tried as a striker. His finishing is 14. You, we have the ball a lot. We have a lot of clear-cut chances with this style. We have three to four clear-cut chances every game, guys, but goals are not there, okay? So you can also use Correra there. Correra is one of the best players in this team and... Uh, but he's like often, you know, 13 in striking, for uh, no heading. A player that have played well, in my opinion, is Diego Costa. But Diego Costa, you know, he has played 
12 games, 5 goals. Many of those goals, and two of them is, in the, for example, in penalty. He, some games, doesn't... He, he, he drops down in the field, you know, for example, when you use him. Even to any time you use him, he drops down. If he loses the ball, because he's not so good in keeping it, as you can see, dri dribbling, passing, and technique. So when he starts dropping down, I used him as a press... Even if I use him as a pressing forward, he has some problems there, okay? Then you have got the other striker, is Morata. Morata has also the, a problem that is finishing his 13, but he has played well. When we have him on the field, we score more goals and as well as we win games. Morata can play many different styles. One of the things is that he knocks ball past opponents and starts dribbling and uh, runs with the ball often. I have started uh, start him up some few times. as you can, you can use him as a deep line play forward like this. He have no finishing but his passing is okay guys. His technique is okay. Uh, his off the ball movement is okay. His flair is okay. You know, it's a lot of okays here, so he can you play play there. You can use him as advanced forward, but one of the things he does when he plays as advanced forward in this style is his decisions and comp uh, comp score is low here. So when these two are low and you have the ball, this guy and you use him as advanced forward, the guy goes in offside every time, every time. Not every time, but a lot of times, okay? I also sometimes use him here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what. Why? The thing of my system was, I see that Atletico Madrid here, guys, got great physique, great work, uh, work rate. The players work a lot, you know, their teamwork is good, so they can link up well and they can understand the tactic easily and fast. Uh, their bravery is okay. Their aggression is not that high as you will think about, but the team works, you know, the players have good stamina, okay pace, it's not much pace, but it's okay pace there, guys, and uh, it's a dynamic team, but you, you lack the goal scorer, you create a lot, you don't score goals. In defensively, it's Atletico Madrid, you know, the players defend as a unit, even though you don't need to have a defensive style, the players really gives everything, they do a little bit more than that's needed in the field, and it's very cool to see it when you play, when you see the full games, you see the players take the runs back on the field, even that you, even if you use them as a trackista, the players will run, the players that don't run here, they are Felix, he's an okay player, he doesn't work that much. Uh, you got Correra. He's working okay, but uh, his bravery is okay to be a winger, for example, with 16 and dribbling. One of my favorite in this team this is Caresco. He's okay, you know, but nothing more. But um, you also have this guy, Vitolo. He, he works like a machine, guys. I haven't used him that much, but uh, he's more because of his lacking of pace. And you also have, for example, Morata and Diego Costa, they work hard. Everyone in this team works hard, guys. So, okay, why do I play this system? I, I change it from times to times. Um, and I haven't used it totally this way, guys. Sometimes I use it even this way. The main thing here is that... And sometimes I use him as a pressing forward. If I use him as a pressing forward, I use him as advanced play banker. One of them will be the player that drops down here and gets the balls because there is a space here that have to be taken. So if he's a shadow striker like this, he have to go as a fake uh, false nine or as a trick vista. If he goes advanced playmaker and I use, for example, Diego Costa or Murata as a pressing forward or a complete forward. Okay. What we do here, guys, is we have two wing, wing backs. And uh, Renan Lodi is one of the best players in the game, and his prospect potential ability is one of the best. The guy is incredible in offensive play, okay? So as you can see, his crossing is 15, his dribbling is 16. You can use him as a winger if you want to. His pace, his acceleration is good, his uh, technique is well, his passing is well. So he can both go inside and outside, his marking is well. But one of his main problem is his bravery, guys. His bravery. Uh, I know this is not the important thing, but I say a lot of the player because he's playing a defensive role. This is the. For me, he's very similar to the uh, Marcelo we had for two years ago. As you can see here, guys, his assist is four. He comes to two goals here, and he comes to a lot of chances. 
uh, and off the ball movement as well, you know. So this is offensive player. Offensive player will get, I think he gets a lot of yellow cards, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, four yellow cards. Maybe because of the way we play the game. Anyway, the thing with Lodi, I wanted him to go inside. I tried, for example, wingers on both sides and Lodi here. But I put it Renan Lodi as the left in, in, inverted wing back on his side here. The thing is, Correa goes inside. Lodi will automatically go around. But he will start here, then he will go around. Do you understand? So when he starts here, some people think, oh, maybe then Koke will be in his way. You no, know? they, they will go on each other. No, because he's in attack mo attack duty here. So he will be here. He will linking up. So he will be as your winger. So and those times he doesn't run up in the field, he will defend this part of the field when you have the ball. He will defend this part of the game and sometimes it goes inside with the ball and why is that so important the, the important part is when he goes inside with the ball you can for example then use felix here and uh, ask him to stay wider as a pressing forward or something like that and then when he comes over here then you have felix going around here or sometimes even correra goes around here so he's like a winger for you but the problem i saw with this system is hmm caresco and lodi they will be a lot isolated on the sides the players will move a lot into the central part of the field so what i have started doing it lately is using it like this sometimes uh, take this away uh, and uh, use him in a way saul here as a player that comes here so Saul helps Ludi Felix helps Caresco because Trippier will not come up that much up in the field and so will not Arias though Arias is our second right back here and Avresco is extremely is okay but we are playing offensive football we are playing attacking football we are sending everything up front and uh, so you will be needing a player, for example, that uh, can help Caresco and Lodi at the flanks. Because if not, Lodi and Caresco will be isolated on the sides. All of the uh, crosses will be eaten up by the defender who stands in the front of them. So you will be needing doubling at the sides. So lately I've seen this works a lot where sometimes one player, and if I see this in the game that Lodi is isolated a lot, I use him also like this at here and then I go inside here and I ask him to stay wider so that's the part okay what we do when you send up this fullback you need defending at this side okay as well as he's going in here you need someone behind him that he can take one two with because when he comes up here Correra is one two in front of him but he needs someone in su support so you need someone who can give him a triangle here so I'm talking now about our weapons that we attack with, okay? So we attack with Lodi here, coming up here, at the sides, he will come both up here or up here. So when he comes up there, you need a triangle here, okay? Correra will stand here, Koke will stand here, and if Correra goes in, Lodi will go around. If Lodi goes in, Correra will go forward. So you will make a triangle here by having Koke here. And it's something else too. Uh, so I used him as a Secunda Valente to begin with and him as a deep line playmaker. The problem was when I used, for example, Diego Costa here, Diego Costa won the ball, the opponent had high pressure, so when they lost the ball, they pressured me. Felix wins the ball as a striker here. Everyone starts running forward. So the only player standing behind him was Felipe, and Felipe is too far away in a break for example so we will win the ball everyone starts running forward Saul runs forward Correra goes forward Lodi starts going forward and if he is second of Valente he will also run forward then he have everyone players running past the player with the ball so suddenly Correa, uh, the striker lose the ball there is no one supporting no one is can take the ball no one can go in pressure Varane won the ball against him here took the ball goes and scores a goal so you need support, you need to think, okay, Lodi comes here, he goes forward, 
a striker wins the ball is everyone is running forward then you're gonna be hit so I use Koke here as a shield why I use Herrera here as a ball winning midfielder I sometimes use him as a ball winning midfielder sometimes I use him as a Segunda Valente because the deal is here this player is a link up with his movement but against good teams he have to win the ball against not that good teams he can link up the play so you have to see it in the games you have to see the formation how to play but this is the one of the re his part is as a ball winning midfield in, uh, in support this player will roam a little bit more you can ask him to go forward if you want to too the thing is that he will go forward the, he will attack here and he will win the ball so he will win the ball Koke will lie here all the time you have always Koke Gimenez, Felipe, these three players playing support. So when you win the ball, you don't need to go forward every time. If all the forward options is taken and this player tries to go forward, he will be taking the ball from and your hit on breaks. So you need someone behind him so you can support him and can also if he also loses the ball, win the ball behind him. So his main job is to link come in here. When we lose the ball, he goes in pressure. When he wins the ball, you again need someone behind him so so you can win the ball if not then i have to use a 4-3-3 him there and him down there try that too didn't work that well work okay didn't well very much one player so do you attack in the way guys with Karesko wide Lodi wide Correra comes here with his magic tries to score shoot the ball Saul or Lemar have been injured a lot but Lemar is extremely good player too guys uh, and sometimes he's pressing forward based on the other one so Either is a false nine here, or Trequista, or is uh, going up against some player that comes in space from behind. If this is a t number nine, like uh, advanced playmaker or something like that, then this guy will be a player bombing forward because someone have to go for the passes. And the good thing here is that uh, the thing is that you have a lot of players that can play possession football, and I'm going to show you that. Jimenez is very good with the ball. He's not the best player with the ball, but he's good with the ball. He's an athletic Madrid player, but he's good with the ball. His jumping reach is not that much. His strength is good. His vision is okay, guys. His uh, technique is good. Dribbling is... Uh, first touch is good. Dribbling is not that bad because he will take the ball forward. He has good pace. And look at this. The defensive part, the mental part. The mental part in Atletico Madrid is extremely well. They can play any kind of football, but it's aggression, anti-fiction, bravery, concentration. Look at this. Is extreme guys look at that uh, positioning teamwork this is also important if you're going to use your line high up guys and if you want to play offside trap teamwork is important and work rate is also important the guy is good Felipe is coming new this year to Atletico Madrid from I think it was Porto uh, this guy is the for example the yap stam in the team guys the heading is 16 jumping is 16 good pace good strength uh, aggression is high, bravery is high, good tackling, good positioning, and good leadership. Again, leadership is extremely important when you're playing in defense. You need one player with good leadership, especially if you have Lodi here. And uh, Trippier is, I don't know, if is Trippier best or is Arias best? Um, in the league, I think he have played better. His technique is better, his tackling is good, and the good thing with the tackling high is that when we lose the ball high up in the field, Trippier have, he can win some ball high up in the field. So, but his pace is low, his stamina is good, his positioning is not that bad, his off the ball is good, he comes forward, uh, his crossing is good, even though it haven't been that many crosses for us because that's Caresco's job. Caresco does that very well. When you go to Arias, he's fighting against him Arias is a better passing player so Arias can also sometimes play left year instead of Lodi but then you will not get that many crosses his pace is okay you know his stamina is okay they're very similar players but in my opinion for me Trippier have been playing better Oblak is maybe one of the best goalkeepers in the game the passing is high so you can easily use him as a sweaky goalkeeper in attack guys uh, but because his also vision is nah, it's not that well. But anyway, but his one on ones is good. His kicking is good. His handling is good. But he's one of the best goalkeepers in the game, and you can use him in any way you want to. Don't lose him. Twenty six years old. Give him whatever he wants to. 
One problem you will have is if you play this system is Lodi is one of your left defender then you've got Hermoso as the other left defender. Uh, he had played well in European compi for, for uh, Spanish uh, under... Uh, isn't it? No, he yeah, played for the national team? No, yeah, he yeah, played for the national team. Okay, but they paid a lot of money for getting him here. 21 million pounds from Espanol. He got good pace and he's young. No, he's not that young either. He got pace, but again, the mental part is good. He can play as a central defender, uh, as a ball playing defender, and good at here. The thing is, he's totally different than uh, Lodis, Ludis, so you can use him when you want to defend yourself. He scored a wonderful goal as a volley from here, phew, right into the goal. But it's okay. One of the problems you have in Atletico Madrid is that you got a lot of central midfielders like Saul, Felix, Coque, Herrera, uh, Partey, and I think you got Lemar can play there too, Lorente, that played extremely well against Liverpool now. So, but the difference is they have a good work rate. Uh, Lorente is a good tackler, he's good at transfiction, he reads the game, he's a good deep line playmaker in defense but the problem is his first touch is not that good uh, that can give you some problem guys he's a good substitute he's a squad player so you can use him as a squad player uh, Partey is a player that wants to start regularly but I don't see him doing that guys I don't know what he's gonna do I would sell him I, have, I haven't touched anything on the transfer market but I would sell this guy the reason I would sell him is He's just okay on everything, but he got great long shots, guys. But then you have to use him as a box box midfielder. The way I'm playing here is no box box midfielder. And you got other players in the team that can do that job. The good thing is his wage is low. So if you sell him, you have to sell him with high value here so you get some money to get him in. Uh, because Herrera is better both as a box box midfielder and as a uh, ball winning midfielder and as well as deep deep line playmaker his positioning is better his teamwork is better his ambition is better his bravery is better this is a better player overall and then you got Lorente as a substitute that can play deep line playmaker uh, and Koki can also play as a ball winning midfielder if you needed to uh, Koki is extremely well guys 761 here as a deep line playmaker the guy is extreme I have used him also as a wide midfielder because I was trying 4-4-2, a little bit different styles. He's, look at this, his work rate, the guy works, teamwork, vision, leadership, he's okay, off the ball, he moves up. So he's good on counter-attacks and he was also good to getting in the ball, shots from distance, curls ball, tries long range passes and that is important for us, I'm going to show you why later. Runs with the ball, ball rarely and crosses early. One problem you have with uh, Herrera is that... Uh, runs with ball off and, and his dribbling and technique is not that good you know but anyway you also got Saul Saul is one of the best players in the game he can play Mazella he can play box box midfielder advanced playmaker deep line playmaker as you can see his tackling is good he can play down the field he tries killer ball off and shots from distance not maybe that good because he doesn't got that good long shots uh, 742 here for me and argues with officials I think the whole Atletico Madrid team is have this uh, argues with officials runs with ball often so you can use him as a Segunda Valente and you can use him as advanced playmaker here you can use him as a uh, wide playmaker coming in you can use him anything you want his pace is okay to central midfielder his stamina is okay work rate he's good in everything so you have the these three together you have the best I think total package of central midfielders in the league and you also have Felix can play there too don't remember don't forget that so okay so what you want in middle you want dynamic here you want to be dynamic you want the players to win it in Spanish league the mid central midfielders here they are ball winning midfielders they can go on attack they can come from down the field they have okay technique but they are smart players and they can run a lot they are not maybe physical machines like you see in the Premier League but in La Liga they have a great physique so this is the way I would do it guys to be honest with you I would play like this and I would play like this uh, and I will ask him to stay wider as you can see that he have it already and I will also ask him to stay wider as he have it already and he will play pressing forward then he will be advanced playmaker so it's so easy okay you have problem with the goal scoring uh, with the goal scoring guys the thing here is that these the player comes from behind 
we can see what we have done here we are playing narrow that's why the long passes of Koki is important because when you play that narrow the player is going to look small 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 they're going to look inside here all the time all the time uh, and then you need when Koki have this tries long range passes is that when he has the ball here he can suddenly set Caresco free at the right side Caresco is an incredibly good player guys 10 games 6 goals 7 assists 753 here great player and uh, then we have also I have also sh chosen guys overlap left the overlap left I tried overlap at right but it, it, it didn't never happen I used him as an inside forward I used him as a everything I used him Trippier is too slow guy he will not come there you will not get that dynamic in the sides and at the same time that you're playing narrow you you won't have that time because the play is going faster forward believe it or not into the middle here so and when it starts coming here it's too late Trippier will always come as a wave number two so when we win the ball when Herrera wins the ball Trippier comes and he can cross from here if he wants to okay then we go back again here we can see that we play overlap at the left as you saw we focus play on the right and left and the reason is because we want Lodi to come here one on one he's extremely good we, on breaks Correra is extremely good on dribbling so and we also got Caresco here his dribbling is extreme and he's in the game he, this guy creates chances guys this guy creates chances all the time and that's why you want to attacking the flanks because in here it really doesn't got uh, one player that can do it Felix can do it but that's why we are putting him wide so he can do one two here with Caresco either Felix goes like this or Caresco goes around here one of them will go there and uh, so that's the reason we want to attack the sides here we don't want to attack we just want to keep the ball go flank out then you ask me okay why do you then use narrow because when they use narrow the players will automatically go more center yes but that's why I'm starting to use them more wide and when I use them narrow I know Koke will slip the ball out to the sides and one other reason is that these players are not technically not cross Modric so when you use them far away from each other guys they will lose the ball they will lose the ball these players here are dynamic teamwork players that need to play together if you use them too far from each other if the players are too far from them here if you, then maybe not Saul but Herrera and Koke will lose the ball they need to stand beside each other lose the ball win it work for each other one two one two that's the way they go okay Play out of defense, some say, oh, we're doing this with Atletico Madrid. Yes, I'm doing it with Atletico Madrid because we, Oblak is good with the ball. Given this is good with the ball. Felipe is... <laughs> technique is good, guy. Passing is not that bad. He's making it simple. And it, it does work. It does work very well. And uh, slightly shorter tempo but passing. It's not... You could go here, but when I do that, I see that Herrera and... Co especially Herrera have a hard time guys and the, some of the players that are not good passing and we are already going attacking so the players mentality is forward 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 so I don't use this one I only use this guys against less good teams if I have the ball 55 to 60 percent of the game I use this It's no point of using it if you're using it to counter attack and that is something uh, I don't like with this version of football manager again there's no it's a, like a hiding thing the thing is this when you have the ball when you crush this one guys and you don't have it much the ball the ball that much everyone is starting to shooting out playing the ball behind and you don't want that but so I think it this is something football manager can work with guys they should work with it because taking this it should mean that you played more the ball into the space then you play it into the feet but when you take this one everyone start to just bomber the ball up and then you for example have the ball 40% against uh, Real Madrid then you suddenly have the ball 35% so this may be right I don't know but when you have the ball you need to push this one uh, when you have the ball a lot so they start uh, finding the space behind and remember you are playing narrow here so when you put this one and you have the ball you will lose the ball here and we win the ball you win the ball but when you have the ball here 
and you're playing narrow the team is not functioning as narrow yet because you are defending standard so when you don't have the ball the players are a little bit far from each other you win it before you reach to come together the players boom smelling it forward so okay that's why you that's maybe why football manager didn't do that maybe i don't know but okay anytime anyway you take this one when you're playing it uh, against weaker teams guys you have the ball more than them when you go to the crosses guys you can for example sometimes work it into the box if you see you're shooting too much shots out there i haven't done that maybe you should try it maybe it work uh, whoop it crosses works very well especially on Koresko. Koresko scores a lot of goals when the crosses come from loaded on the left side he's fast player so he comes forward there slightly higher tempo you could go here too but some of your players your players will win the ball but the problem will be you will have too too much playing players uh, that did not cope with it physically they will cope with it technically they will not cope with it is my but I have learned from this uh, run at defense always keep it doing it on you attack the sides and you run at them one-on-one -on -one. the players will get yellow card a lot of red cards comes forward here guys playing against you especially against Caresco Caresco gives the all everyone playing against Caresco will get the yellow card when you play this system uh, how we do this they counter press why do they counter press because you have the players to counter press you score a lot of goals on counter pressing you are playing uh, you're playing uh, narrow here so when you lose the ball the players are narrow they will bombard forward they will win the ball there why do you go counter because you got four players coming in to attack guys and you have pace on the sides you're attacking at the uh, you're attacking the flanks so when you want one win the ball look at these two guys you have at the sides here who are them is Correra pace is 14 14 is not that good but he's good in dribbling he's good in passing he's good off the ball this is a good counter-attack player uh, Caresco is an extremely good counter-attack player with his pace on 15 acceleration his dribbling his uh, technique and off the ball and flair and then you got also for example Felix or Diego Costa Murata as a pressing forward here and you also got sometimes Felix here so you got players that are good on counter-attack these four, pe four pe players here they're counter-attack players as well as they are a one-on-one -on -one good on front there and you also got Lemar don't forget that Lemar is also very good on the counter-attacks uh, his off the ball is not maybe that good but his counter attacking is very good uh, we go back here guys why he can use the all back one thing that is important is if you don't take this one on when the goalkeeper have the ball he will stand here and Felipe will stand up on him Felipe will not go down here so either you have to use him so you have to <laughs> they will stand on each other in a way so use ball out of defense play out of defense then the center backs comes down here and then stand on Lodi so and you do it quickly because you are here trying to play as a unit fast unit running over everyone uh, and the other things you have here is out of possession much higher line imagine they change me with Diego Simeone I use this with them huh? the players will be in shock but the players are good enough to do it is just talk about styles and coaching here and uh, I'm not talking about the game I think about real life these players are so good players that they can play Diego Simeone style Mourinho style or go out there and play Pep style the problem with Pep style here will be again you will not score a lot of goals because your strikers are not maybe made for it anyway anyway is my personal opinion they use offside trap because you got the players to do it and you're standing high up in the field you have to have much higher line of engagement because you have the players that can really win the ball high up in the field then you also have to prevent the short uh, goalkeeper distribution but they will do it anyway in Spain they will try to play it out anyway so you're gonna win a lot of game balls here guys up here so you are and then you can see what we have done on one-on-one -on -one players Felix is stay wide the tackle harder mark tighter the same thing will uh, here tackle harder mark tighter mark specific person Caresco will go at the left back and Correra will here go at the I haven't taken him here because he's already a support and I don't suddenly we play a team that is very offensively and the fullbacks goes up and they have to start down there especially against Real Madrid because Real Madrid their fullbacks start really high up in the field then they can really pressure you down um, 
and one last thing I use this as a width as a standard I use it here the problem was Lodi Lodi was getting yellow cards and he was making free kicks and he was really selling himself at the left side the thing is when you go wide here is that the defensive shape is that Lodi will stand far away from Felipe so Felipe won't help him he will stand more on a man-man mar marking here and when he is playing for example against Hazard here he will be eaten and sometimes he started to go up here he didn't follow the line so when you use the defensive line defensive white smaller uh, uh, more narrow here or a standard the thing will be he will come closer to him he will automatically stand more in place you don't want to isolate a so bad defensive player as this player here alone in Spanish football against a winger he will be eaten alive he will do so many mistakes he will give you away penalties he will do strange things so when I use the standard, it came a little bit closer here and didn't do that many stupid things. And you can talk, and then you can say, okay, I can see you are a good offensive player. I'm gonna use it, and his defensive errors will be a little bit less. And that's the same thing in the, in football. If you isolate Marcelo too far away from uh, Ramos, that's playing center back in left, he will do. Cr he will be alone and he will do crazy things defensively. When he stands here, he will do better. And that's also why I have Felipe Bissan Lodi. Maybe the leadership thing here, guys, will help him. I don't know. Uh, what else thing do we do here? Saul is just staying wider. He's also tackling hard and marking, marking tighter. It's here we want to win the ball. Koki here. Nothing, 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 nothing. And nothing. And there's also nothing here. And there's nothing here. Okay. So that's the formation we play. It's Valencia 4-4-2 is because I made a Valencia 4-4-2, but this is not the same one. I just used it. And one thing else you can see at some of the results later is that we started here the friendlies. Here I thought, okay, we try to play a possession football. But the thing was, I had the ball, but I didn't score that many goals, as you can see here. So I changed it too offensively, but then I saw, okay, against good teams like Bayern München and Real Madrid. I was eaten alive but the goals here if you can come back here is on set pieces this was a set pieces that Lodi made a penalty set piece set pieces a set pieces it was only normal goal we, we were scored against but anyway they we didn't create enough chances against this game so here is where I started changing it and uh, it went better and better and better and better so you can see the away game against since this game we haven't lost a game and we create a lot. So we played against Bayern München now 0-0. We didn't have the ball that much against Bayern München. Then, uh, but we played well, I think, guys, to be honest with you. We played by four clear-cut chances. So we played well. And against, uh, we, we, we create three to four uh, clear-cut chances every game, And uh, I think. Here we have the Valladolid game. Uh, it's the same thing, clear-cut chance. Well, it was one here only. Uh, but uh, for example here Granada we played so you win the games and you just need to I think this I, I would do this system I could I won't I won't help you against in a defensive system because I can't help you there so I just t tweak it tweak it tweak it and watch all the games and I saw for example against Real Madrid that um, by mention here against by mention here also there was a lot of set pieces goals is Lodi, Lodi was a lot of the problem and one of the other problems was that the defensive wide was too too wide to see it, let's say it that way and one other thing was that the defensively since I copied the Valencia here I thought I had taken I have some good set pieces there but the set pieces wasn't there when I went in there I, did, did, uh, I had set up a good set pieces here with Atletico Madrid but then it I don't know why I think something happened with the computer because once it shut it down and when I came back it starts getting a lot of goals against us on set pieces so I like that very much because when I came back I thought oh everything is into normal in standard mode when it comes to the, to the set pieces and that's what I liked a lot with this football manager 2020 set pieces you can score a lot of goals in real football you can lose games on set pieces and you can win on set pieces and we lost a lot of games on set pieces so I changed it a little bit based on uh, who's taking what doing what for example we're gonna keep um, Felix here 
if Costa is playing, I'm putting him down there. He's going there, marking tall players. And I use uh, Correra here. And I use sometimes uh, Caresco here because Caresco is the best and fastest player we have and best dribbler, in my opinion, in the game. In for us. So, okay, but anything. Anyway, I fixed the, the set pieces. We start scoring goals on set pieces and we didn't get that many goals against us on set pieces. One thing you need to ch have focus on, guys, is defensively set pieces. Especially on indirect right here, guys. You get a lot of goals against you if you don't do that. Uh, set it up right and you don't do it here. Indirect, indirect here. I use two players on the edge of the area from here because then it's easier to counter attack. And I use someone from the wall. They don't shoot from here, but you can see the counter attacking here. And that, that's why I use Lodi here because I know Lodi is. If, for example, we win the ball, you got uh, Saul here. Lodi will start going on run. Because we are on a counter-attacking team as well. And we, this one goes this way. So he's on the way. The, the games, guys, I have played well afterwards. I would play this way. You look at the team. If I'm going to give you some hints what you should do in the team. You got a good second goalkeeper. No block is good. Uh, you would know If you're playing that offensively with your left back, you will be needing a new left back. You should sell Savage. Um... His last year of contract is 28 years old, but the problem is he's not getting that much money. You won't get that much money for him, guys. But he's not a good ball playing defender, so if he wants if he wants to play in the team, he have to be a substitute for the great defensive player you got, Felipe. And uh, he's nowhere near there. And if you are playing that high defensive line, you should get a better player defensively than Savic. Savic is tackling is low. His Jumping reach is low. If you use him and Gimenez in defense, you will have a problem, guys. Uh, his pace is good. So, yeah. that's So, you can use Hermoso as a substitute for Gimenez. But then you will need a new defender instead instead of Savage. Someone you can solve is Vralishko. But he's, he's Vra, Vra, Vraslico. But he's injured when he starts with the game. So... So, but the good thing with him is he will win the ball high up in the field for his aggression as well, his tackling as well, but in his pace is okay, but the acceleration is low. So, but anyway, but I haven't played him, he just came back from injury. I would sell him in the winter, uh, winter time. If you sell him and you sell Savic, you maybe got enough player for a very good central defender coming in. Don't forget that Felipe is 30 years old here. Uh, you will also be needing a backup for Lodi. Then uh, you have Arias and Trippier at the right. It's okay, it's okay. Hector Herrera is good. I would also maybe sell, as I told you, Partey. I haven't used him that much, but I would sell him and maybe keep the play, keep the money and see on the long run which striker we can buy because you also will be needing a striker. You can also sell Vitolo or you keep Vitolo. The, the thing with Vitolo is I am selling him in the winter break now. We could sell him uh, earlier if you wanted to. 180,000 pounds, 30 years old. You get 15, 17 million for him. Sell him a lot. Sell him as, as fast as you can, guys. But his work rate was good. His teamwork was good. So I thought maybe in the start, maybe I use him. But you don't need him. You don't need him. You don't need him. Uh, Diego Costa is 31 years old. And one of the problem is 275,000 pounds, two years left on the contract, use him, but uh, I wouldn't give him a new contract after that if you're playing in the long run. Felix will improve, use him, but remember Felix in the middle here would have a problem guys sometimes. I tried him here, he was not that good. You can use him advanced playmaker at the left, he will be doing a good job there I think. Uh, Many people think, but don't take these things very strictly. For example, if I go here to player, I go here and I'm reading this. And you, for example, want to edit his positioning, you know, guys, you start reading this. Oh, what does he do? What, what does that mean to be a player that is playing uh, uh, playing here, this this text? Don't think too much about that, guys. Don't think too much about that. It's something, yes. If he plays advanced playmaker, you just know that he's not that much. Uh, here, advanced playmaker is much different from this advanced playmaker when you are playing offensively football and have the ball. 
but the ten number ten here as a dance playmaker is extremely hard to show yourself and get the ball when you're playing here. Then it's easier to come from the sides in and start giving passes and Felix will shoot anyway because he has first time shots. So okay, he's a dance playmaker. You don't want your dance playmaker to shot that much, but he will shoot. But the problem is he's a uh, 11 on long shots, I don't think that's so good. <laughs> but one thing he does also inside, some, uh, he can do guys, is that he plays 1 on 2. So when you use him as a advanced playmaker here, he starts playing 1 on 2 here. Da -da -da. And he will get rhythm in the game, he will show himself. I used Luis Alberto here in Lazio, he scored 12 goals, I think and 15 assists. Great play, player to play there. If you have the ball a lot, for me, the 10 role here is really hard to make it uh, work here that you got for example the old Kaka you had Roy Costa in the time Zidane maybe came from here either they should come from down here and go up here some say but I see De Bruyne plays here no De Bruyne is not a number 10 here De Bruyne comes wide here like a Mazzello advanced playmaker from behind in my opinion Isco is a player that plays here and you see how hard time he has. It's very hard in real life also to make it happen. You see that Messi comes from here down. Or sometimes from here here. They attack this room but they don't stand there like they did it before in time. So maybe you should do that with Felix. Uh, anything else here guys? I think the club is good. The finance is not that well guys just to be honest. You need some new stuff when you start here. And... Uh, but the club is a good club, you know, they have some uh, depth loan, I think, here, you can go see, I don't, because of the stadium, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a good team, it's a solid team, you have some young players, you can have some prospects selling players, and uh, I don't think you need that many new players, and uh, if I would now go back there, I think, and play with this tactic and upgrade it a little bit more, this tactic that I have set up for you, not for you, but for myself here to later, these games wouldn't go like this. I would never lose this game like this if I wouldn't try, not, because I'm trying it. When I normally make some games for you, uh, I try it to the basics. So when I try here, I play it ultra offensive. And here I play it ultra defensive to test it. If I want to play offensive, I go ultra def offensive and I'll then start to see, okay, that works, that doesn't work, that works. And it really have works here, guys. But you don't score many goals. Here I score six goals, but sometimes it works, you know. But that's all of it. That's not Bayern München. So as you can see here, we have hard time scoring against Bayern München. We have hard time scoring against Real Madrid. And that's also a little bit Atletico Madrid in the real life. They don't score more than one, two goals against good teams. Even though they play defensively, we play offensively. I think that you you can win it, but you have to win it as a team. So the basic, the foundation of Diego Simeone have to be kept here in this team, playing as a unit, but you don't need to play defensively. It's a cool game to start, guys. I think you can have a long run. You need a central defender, you need a left back, uh, and you will be needing a striker that scores goal. That's absolutely... How is Morata regular starter and regular starter? Yeah, but guys, thank again. I hope you liked the movie. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the like button anyway, okay? <laughs> Stay cool.